the following question reads that an infrared spectrum of compound P is shown. Uh, so this is compound P and this is the infrared spectrum. These are the wave numbers and this is the transmittance. Now the question is uh, that we need to figure out uh, uh, that the question states what could be compound P. So the uh, four different options given and you need to figure out uh, which one is compound P. Let me first uh, draw the structure of each one of these compounds. So the first one is an ester and let's draw an ester. An ester is, uh, it has this functional group, cetyl bond O and O. Uh, so it's a methyl ethanoate. Methyl means that the single O side has one carbon atom. So it's going to be, the rest would be hydrogens. And uh, ethanoate means that the double bond O side is going to have two carbon atoms. There's one carbon atom already there. So this is the second carbon atom. So ester link, uh, one side there's one carbon atom, the other side there's two carbon atoms. The next one is propanol. Propanol is going to be prop is three carbon atoms. So it's going to be three carbon atoms and it's an aldehyde. So that means it's going to be double bond O and H and you can add in the hydrogen CH2. This would have three hydrogens with it. Then you have propanoic acid, which is going to be, again, three carbon atoms. It's going to have double bond O and OH. And uh, this one is going to have two hydrogens. This one is going to have three hydrogens with it. And then propan 2 all. Propan, again, it's prop. So that's one, two, three carbon atoms. 2 all means that it's an alcohol, but the OH group is on the second carbon atom. And the rest would be hydrogens. This one would have one hydrogen. This one is going to have three hyd hydrogens. So I've uh, drawn all four molecules over here. Now what happens, just a brief uh, overview of what happens in infrared spectroscopy is that these molecules, uh, their bonds are going to vibrate and they're going to be absorbing infrared spectrum, waves, radio waves from infrared spectrum. And each bond has a very specific frequency that it absorbs. I mean, for example, this bond over here, cetyl bond O, is going to be vibrating and moving to and fro. Uh, when it gains energy from the infrared spectrum. And it's going to absorb energy at a very specific uh, wavelength. A very specific frequency is going to be absorbed. So each bond has a very, this carbon-carbon bond is going to uh, vibrate at a very specific frequency. So all these bonds would be vibrating, but they would be absorbing different frequencies. Now you're given this diagram over here. Uh, and these are your absorptions. I mean, you're getting absorptions at uh, wave numbers, which are 3000. Uh, wave number is 1 over lambda or 1 over wavelength. So it's basically proportional to frequency. So you're getting absorptions over here. Then you're getting many different absorptions, some absorptions over here. Uh, this is your fingerprint region. So most of the absorptions over here, they don't really make a lot of sense. So we're going to bet uh, on this. So let's open the infrared spectrum table. Now I've opened the data booklet and this is a table that's, uh, that gives me uh, the wave numbers of infrared spectrum. Uh, these are the ranges uh, over here, as you can see, the absorption range and different functional groups are given. Uh, the ones that I'm really interested in is always the C double bond O. The C double bond O is always uniquely identifiable. It has a very, very strong absorption at 1600 to uh, 1700, between the 1600, 1700 wave number. Now we just learned that at 1600 range, around 1600 wave number, 1600 to 1700, the C double bond O vibrates to and fro. Now, if you look over here, uh, this part in the middle, uh, there is no absorption. So that kind of indicates that there is no C double bond O group in this, in this particular molecule, in this infrared spectrum, there is no C double bond O group. So always, whenever whenever you're looking for, in, uh, whenever you're doing a question in infrared spectrum, go for the C double bond O first. Uh, so that would eliminate a lot of options because if you look look at these molecules over here, you would notice that almost all of them have this C double bond O group. For example, this ester has a C double bond O. This aldehyde has C double bond O. Uh, so uh, this carboxylic acid also has C double bond O. So all of these groups are going to be, have an absorption between the 1600, 1700 range, they're going to have an absorption. Our infrared spectrum doesn't have an absorption. So the only molecule uh, that's left is going to be this molecule over here. That's it. Because you've eliminated all the other options by just looking at the C del bondo group. So all the other options have been eliminated and you have this molecule as your answer. So option D is going to be the correct answer. 
for this question.